Hi and welcome to another video. This time let's talk about fractions in Flutter. This will be a short one, so let's get to it. First of all, when we are dealing with numbers in Flutter, Dart or in any other languages, we have different kinds of numbers. We have sign and sign numbers, we have integers, we have decimals and so on. In case of a decimal number, we will use usually a construct like 1.2 or 1.5 or 0.5, that would mean half of something. So, for example, you could have half a kilo of sugar represented as 0.5 kilo of sugar on the screen. But let's say that we have a designer that decided that we would like to have actually a fraction drawn on the screen. And a fraction looks like this over here. So, half a kilo of sugar would be represented as 1 divided by 2 kilo of sugar and so on. And of course, we can achieve this very simply by just placing 1 divided by 2 in Flutter in just a text. But we can make it look a little bit nicer, like here over in the example. So there would be this small one on top, there will be this huge slash, and then small two below. And fractions that would be drawn on the screen like you can see over here are already implemented in Flutter framework itself. And all we have to do is we have to use this font feature down here. So you can see we can assign more font features than one, but here we are using only this one font feature that fractions, which is a function invocation to this array over here. Here is my small project where I prepared or actually copied the example from the documentation. And you can see I have some text over here, just I changed the second example and maybe let's change this one also to something more fun. Let's see also what happens if we add ABC after 4. And notice the first thing, so this is my text, it's just a string, it doesn't do anything special, we don't have a rich text here to make the fraction works and render, it's just a normal string in a text widget. In order to make the fraction works, as you've seen before, we have to just add this feature. The important thing to notice is that not all font families will support this feature. For example, Roboto or the Ubuntu Mono, as we've seen in the example, they are supporting this feature and they will render fractions nicely, like we've seen in the example. So now let's run this example. Here we go. We have fractions, 1 divided by 2, 353 divided by 444, you can see. And here you have the other example when I added this ABC. And you can see that this doesn't really work, it doesn't get combined with the 4 over here. And then we have 4 fifths. So let's play around. What will happen if we would have 1 divided by A? There we go, it also doesn't get rendered as a fraction. And that would be it. That would be everything about fractions, except that what happens if we have a decimal number or double in Flutter, and let's say we want to render it as a fraction. So the API comes back and gives us 1.5 or 13333, something like that. And instead we want to render it as a number, as a fraction with the font. For that purpose, there is this small library over here called fraction. Here is a couple of examples how you can use this package. So first of all, we have a fraction, you can give it two components, 3 and 5. And what it means would be like 3 divided by 5. If we have 2 divided by 4, you can already parse the string and you will create a fraction class of it, which is helpful. But I think for most use cases, this from double over here will be the most important ability of this package. So if the API, for example, gives you 1.5 kilo of sugar, then you can do from fraction dot from double, give it the value, and it will create a version or an instance of fraction that will hold these two components, 3 and 2. Finally, we don't have to use this huge, um, I don't know, static methods or maybe factory constructors, whatever they are. We can instead just use this extension method, so we can just have 1.2 and call it to fraction on it, and then we will get an instance of a class fraction which will hold 3 and 2 as components. Here in my pubspec YAML file, you can see that I've included the fraction package with version 4.1.4 at the moment. Instead of the last example, we will have 5.5, 1.5, and 2 fraction. We have to import the package. Okay, so now this is an instance of a class fraction, and finally we have to do probably to string on it, let's see. And of course this is no longer now a constant. So let's fix that. And now let's run it. Here we go. So we get our example here. 3, 2, 3, 4 divided by 4 ABC with the ABC not taken into account. And then we have our 
1.5 to fraction, which gives us an instance of a class called fraction. And then we can call to string on it and we will get 3 divided by 2, which of course in a string itself will be just 3 slash 2, nothing more than that. Before we finish, let's also check what it will do if we give it 1.33 or more threes over here. What will happen? <laughs> there we go. We get 13,333 divided by 10,000, which is correct, but that's not necessarily what we would want to see over here. And let's see what it will do if we have instead 0 0.33333. We get 3,333 divided by 10,000, which is correct, but I think this is not what we expect to see over here. Let's try something else. Let's say we have final x equals fraction from double. Let's give it 0 0.3333 again. And now let's try with precision. And let's try one. Now let's see what precision does. So here is the documentation of this function. And here is an example how to use the precision. So if we have mm, something like from double math.py and then we give it a precision, then this example will return another different value because it considers the first 20 digits only. So in our example, we have to do one e minus one let's say and then let's print it over here let's save that hot reload is working here we go and now we get one divided by three and this precision is maybe a little bit important because i believe when your api gives you zero three 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 then you probably don't want to render this 3333 divided by 10,000. I hope you learned something today and you will be able to develop better UIs for your apps in the future. But for now, this is everything I prepared. So please like this video, comment if you have any questions and also subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For now, I call you to death and I see you the next time. Bye bye.